Hi, I'm Pilar Lastra, and most people probably recognize me as model number 14 from Deal or No Deal, or Miss August from Playboy Magazine, or you may also know me from the Fantasy Football Show on the Serious Sex and Fantasy Sports Channel. But now I am the author behind Treat Me Like Your Car, A Man's Guide to Treating a Lady, and it is exactly that. It is a man's guide to treating a lady using a universal language that both men and women can understand which is cars. Whether you treat your car really well or you treat it really badly, there's still bare minimum scheduled maintenance that you must do to keep your car running. And it's exactly like a relationship. There's bare minimum maintenance that you must keep up with to keep your relationship going. And like a car, the better you take care of it, the longer it's gonna last. So using analogies like cars really does help women who have been frustrated with their boyfriends or husbands, fiancés, not understanding what they're trying to tell them. And for men, not only does it remind them of the little things that they should be doing, it, it also does help a man understand what we mean what we, when we say the things that we say. Women say, gosh, I wish you would treat me like a princess. And we speak in two totally different languages. I mean, to us, that means like, for crying out loud, pick some flowers, you know, be chivalrous. And to a man, they're thinking like, what does this woman want? Does she want a castle? Does she want a tiara? Mechanically, I understand how cars work and how when one thing goes bad, it's gonna affect the entire car. When I started using things like that in my own relationship, and I saw it was working, I started using it with my radio listeners. And so it was, it was really working with my male radio listeners. Even better was, when the girls were talking about their relationship problems and then I would say, why don't you explain it to your boyfriend like this? And I would explain to them in car terms and they would write it down, but they would go home and talk to their boyfriend that way and it was just, it was working. It was working for both the men that were calling into my radio show and you know the deal or no deal models, my girlfriends back home. So that's, that's when I knew I was onto something. You know what, Treat Me Like Your Car is here just to remind you that chivalry is not dead. <laughs> it just needs a jump start.